Hey guys, what's good? My name is Aaron Vasquez. I'm a friend of Pedro's and I played with him back in Uruguay with a team called Danubio. And yeah, it was good vibes. Right now, I'm in Brazil playing for a team called Rio Branco. And we're in a league called Copa Litoral. And it's like a semi-professional amateur league. And we're in season right now and we're actually in the playoffs in the second leg of the semifinals. So right now today I'm just going to show you guys what I do in a day and what a day looks like here in Brazil. And I'm going to take you guys through my training and my team training later. And I'll just show you guys what I do in the day. Alright guys, um, I'm out on the pitch right now. I'm about to get my first training session in. I'm by myself so you know there's only so much that you can do. But... I'm gonna get some session in doing some fitness, uh, getting some touches on the ball and doing some positional work as well. All right guys, so for this fitness drill, what I normally do is the first set I do five reps, and then once I finish that, my second set I do four reps. Once I'm finished that, the next set I do three set, three reps, sorry. And yeah, just, you guys get the gist. And for this drill, I just pass the ball off the wall, as you guys can see, and I control it. And there's no really set, you know, exercise I do. I just try and get used to the ball, get comfortable with the ball, controlling it with different parts of my foot. And yeah. And now for the positional part of my training, I receive the ball from my midfielder, which is Luis. I turn, um, dribble through some cones, and then I do a give and go with him to receive it on the other end. And I do this for both sides. So my right foot, or the right side, and the left side. Luckily, I had Luis come out to help me today. Um, came clutch, and right now I'm pretty tired, so <clears throat> I'm just gonna rest before my next training because we're training in a different place today. And the training will start at two, and right now it's about 10:30, so we have some time to to just chill. But yeah, I feel like in my sessions I'm always doing a lot of technical work, but not a lot of positional training. And you know. And he was saying that I should try and implement more. And he's right. So ever since, I've been trying to add some more positional training at the end of my sessions. And yeah, it's been good. So right now I'm just gonna go inside, shower, eat, and then just relax before my next training. Alright guys, heading to the training right now. <laughs> it's 1.30, 1.35. We're changing the training pitch because on Sunday we're playing in a pitch that's smaller. So our team wants us to be more accustomed to playing on a smaller pitch so that we can be more prepared to play our semi-final game of our second leg on Sunday. So yeah, so I don't know how we're gonna go there in a van or in a bus. All I know is that we're gonna be training in a different place. 
and probably playing an 11 v 11 game today so it's gonna be a fun day and all i know is that when i come home i'm asleep and i'm gonna relax i am i'm feeling a little tired right now Alright guys, just got home. I'm so, so tired. I'm super hungry too, so I'm gonna get a snack downstairs, eat that, and then right now it's about 6, 6.30. So we have a good amount of the day to just relax and chill. And yeah, right now I'm just gonna go grab, I'm just gonna go grab a snack and then have dinner a little bit later. We're having a we're having a discussion about mate versus terere. ¿Cuál es mejor? Terere. Terere. She's a little bit. She's, she's a little bit crazy. She's a little bit crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, guys. So yeah, I just got ready for bed, and that's pretty much my day. You know, a lot of the days are similar like this one. You know, I love it. I love the routine, and I love playing football, and I just love putting in the work. And, you know, I've never done some collaboration like this before, but it's an honor to do it with Pedro, you know, he's my boy. We known each other last year, September as of last year. And it's funny too, because looking back at what, who we were and what we were going through last year compared to now is like entirely different. I wasn't getting playing time at all, and I was really upset about that. And I know Pedro had some stuff that he was going through as well regarding life and football. And now looking at where we are now, like a lot of things have changed, like, Last year, I used to be upset when I wasn't called on the roster for the next match. But now I feel a type of way when I'm not in the starting 11. And, you know, it's like a huge shift in, in what I was expecting last year and what I was going through last year versus now. And with Pedro, I know he had his own problems with football and life, you know, as we all do. Looking, looking at where he is now, he's balling out in Spain, making a name for himself. I'm sure you guys can testify that he, he's doing well in Spain. And I'm sure none of us really expected where we would be until now. It's just funny you know, how things turn out. You know, we both just kept going at it, working on ourselves and pushing ourselves day by day, taking it one step at a time, one day at a time. We trusted in ourselves, we trusted in God. And as Pedro used to say to me back then, walk by faith, not by fear.